The last video that I showed you guys was the walk around of the interior build of the Project M. This time I'm going to show you the build process of the interior of my Project M. So those of you who haven't watched the walk around, I'm going to link them in the description below. So here we go.
there it is. As you can see. And then I'm gonna put a nut under this bed of the truck. Rock solid. Let's just this another eighty twenty here. It should be rock solid. Okay, so I bolted it. So lift this one up. I don't know if I can do this by myself, but it's a Labeo dry flush. That's how the cookie crumbles. That's the progress I did today. slow but thanks thanks but easy to so I was able to connect this to this new L track and that way this thing is so sturdy now the structure is sturdy all I have to do is put this one right here I need to put an anchor here too Piece of 8020 right here. I have to bolt it. I'm just gonna put my countertop right here. 
All right. So it's bolting it right here. Gives me a hard time, but that's where I'm gonna connect this to. It's a little bit more sturdy. Now the refrigerator drawer is finally done. All right, let's put on the refrigerator. All right, here it is. It's finally done. Unlock the refrigerator. Slide it out. Lock it back in. There it is. Holy smokes, that's a lot of work, I did it, wow, finally over, the refrigerator slide out and the levier slide out, it's over, the next one's gonna be the drawer for the trash and for the frying pan. The next one I'm gonna hit is this part here where the diesel heater and the battery and the electricals. So far so good. build the platform for the sink the sink's gonna sit up here it's gonna be a little raised because there's the clearance for the drain to go this way and down on the other hand and that way we can also still slide the bed all the way here to make it into a king size bed and still you have the countertop sink and I can still cook here on top of this countertop and I put a bar across my plan is I put the platform over here and this is where the pull up projector would be the way we can watch a movie inside a camper and also if I will put some wires I can put it across here and it's hidden yeah it's beginning to take form Still a lot of work to do. I took the Laveo toilet out so I can access because I'm gonna start my, my plumbing. So far, so good. Here it is. Use the jigsaw. And it's gonna be the moment of truth for the sink. There it is. The sink, countertop. I'll be working this drawer here next. There you go. This is 
the setup and I will make an extension right here where you can flip it up it will be an extended countertop pull it down right here and you still have the seat over here okay I finally made it By the way, I show you the reason why I raised the sink. Number one, of course, the drain of the sink. It has a very, very low clearance, but it's clear. You can move the refrigerator in and out. If I slide the refrigerator. Very good clearance for the drain. So from my water tank, this is my plumbing, very fucking complicated. Oh yeah, that's the intake to the tank, the output of the tank. Water gauge was installed. I also installed a vent for the tank, water tank. Okay, so this is all. They put the exhaust of the diesel heater. I drill a hole around 1.5 inches of hole and this red thing is a silicone uh, elbow and that's where I put the exhaust pipe so it will be heat resistant we'll see how hot it goes we'll see how this composite material of the bed will react to the heat it's not really that bad. It's hot, but not that hot. You can't even touch it. And diesel heater is actually firing up. So you can hear the sound. Okay. Right. It's right here. 
here. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. And I'm just gonna put an elbow here. And uh, the vent's gonna be right around here. This makes the camper now, four season camper. All right, here's the components of my electricals. I'm using a 300 amp hour. Uh, the brand is Cheetah. It's a lithium iron phosphate, which is equivalent to 3,840 watt hour. Yeah, it's pretty big battery. And I like that in that way I don't have a anxiety about my power system. And that will be charged with the DC to DC battery charger. And this is 60 amps or it's around 720 watts of charging. So when the car is running, when the truck is running, it will be charging the battery automatically. And I use a 3000 watts pure sine wave inverter this will power all my appliances I could use whatever I want with this power you know rice cooker instapot microwave or anything because um, this bad boy can power it up too so I'll be installing it in that portion still gonna be solving this problem it's a big challenge on how to fit all of these components in there but we'll figure it out the diesel heater is there yeah after that i'm gonna finish this plumbing system which is pretty complicated too but so far so good i hope i can push it today because we're going um, to mammoth this weekend so working tomorrow on Thursday night. All right, that's the progress. And by the way, I'll be trying this one out. It's an induction cooktop, 1800 watts, but it cooks or boils water pretty fast. So I'm gonna try to see how this system will, you know, do with this induction cooktop. Plumbing is finally done. This is the diagram of a plumbing system. And so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna test this for the first time if it is just working. Okay, so the way it's gonna run is with this valve open. If I turn this on, it should suck in water from the water source it goes into the pump comes back here and then it should go to the tank again to fill in the tank we're gonna talk about this later on the output of this so we're gonna do a, a quick connect for the water source there you go and I'm gonna put this into the water source. Now I'm gonna turn on the water pump. Wish me luck and I hope nothing leaks. If it leaks, then let me do it again. I don't have switch yet, but I'm just gonna plug this in. Abracadabra. Sucking? Yes, it's filling water. It is filling water right there. Oh my god, it's working. Yes, the theory is working. It's filling in water now. Now let's check if 
there's any leak from the line so as you can see it fills up half the tank and it works there was a little leak in this section of the valve I tighten it up and now we're gonna try what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the opposite now so to use the output of these we're gonna close this valve and then open this valve Close this valve and open this valve and this should go as the output. Now when I turn the pump water pump on, it should pump out the water from the tank to the output. Okay, now we're gonna do a quick connect. This is the output. This will um push the water, pump the water to the faucet in the sink and also this quick connect to access the water outside. Okay, we'll see if it works. Okay, let me turn. Here we go. There you go. It's working. It's working now. Yeah. It is working. Let me just just to prove the concept. It's working. Just now we're testing the sink. There it is. There's water in the sink. Let's check the drain if there's any leak. Is it dry? It's working. I'm doing the cabinet covers now. Why is not done yet? Still temporary. So I'm still gonna do some holes here for the plumbing, the output, and um, so far so good. It's yeah, I'm trying to fit this. It's not final yet, but it's the cover of the refrigerator. I'm just gonna put the handle there. some handles here everything will be there you go bro it's beautiful that's the counter still have to cover that yeah that's the improvement right now Finish the lock. It's fucking flush.
progress for today. I can detach this, this whole piece. That way there's more privacy. And then I can build a door here if I wanted to. It's just an idea, but I think this one works. I like this idea. Yeah. The middle part, I want to make it like a door so I can access the electricals in here. I'm gonna put the light under here. And that's the pen. Just like that. I'm gonna put the lock over here. So far, so good. Finally did it. This is the extension countertop. There it is. It's so big. And this is gonna be the aluminum trim that I'm gonna put. If we want to extend the countertop extender, have more space, and you can store it there. If it's not in use, it's pretty sturdy because this thing is holding it, and it's snug fit down there. It won't even move. So that's the storage. Wow like it okay. here's how the table can turn into a bed yeah yeah I just placed it <clears throat> towels outlet so the way I want to do it is this is actually a cigarette lighter plug so I have the option if I can plug a cigarette lighter, put this in, and also plug USB and USB-C. Put two of this, the other one here. Yeah, fire it up. Fuck. Took a while. Fucking fire it up. Finally. All right. Yeah, it's been firing up for an hour. Just did it. Everything's working good. Nothing's heating up in the. Yeah, I'm about to. Finish this. There's an AC 125 plug, shore plug. Made a hole here so I can monitor the level of the diesel. 
tank because that's the tank right there so you can see it from here outside and install this door so I can refill my diesel for my diesel heater diesel fuel the monitors and the master switch I'm gonna start wiring this is my charger my inverter I'm gonna start wiring so far so good this is my outlet 110 and a SAE for my solar input yeah just wired it and complexity of it heater is fired up yeah everything's working now Up. Here it is. Boom. Magnetic. for this is um, the max air fan can't actually stand if the voltage goes higher than 12 volts so it starts beeping and having that green light and it's beeping and it's not working so the, my solution is to put a regulator to have a constant 12 volts and that's what I put right there Yep, I finally did it. That's the gauge, water gauge, the switch, and let's try it. <clears throat> Turn the pump, water pump on. Turn the faucet on. There's water. There it is. Turn it off. There's no water. And that's 